Hi, I'm Stuart Benson, Director and Auctioneer at Benson Auctions, and in this video we'll be discussing what to expect when buying at auction. Buying a property is a big deal, and doing so at a live auction can rattle the calmest amongst us. The following are some of my tips, hints and suggestions to ensure that you're in the driver's seat on auction day and in the best possible position to secure your dream property. The first thing I would mention is perhaps one of the most obvious, and that's to ensure you've brought the sufficient identification on auction day. Most commonly, you'll need to provide a driver's license or a passport to ensure that we know who you are and you've identified yourself correctly. You'd be surprised how often we have a mad dash of a would-be purchaser racing home to get the wallet that they left on the kitchen table. Also, if you're bidding on behalf of somebody else, or somebody is in fact bidding on behalf of you, do ensure again that you've spoken to your agent and you have all relevant forms, documentation, and authorization to do so. When it comes time to bid, remember, at auction there are no prizes for coming second. More often than not, the bidder that establishes dominance and sets the tone is the bidder that ends up securing the property at the end. So bid confidently and direct the attention of the auctioneer so that you ensure that bidding goes through you throughout the entire proceedings. This position lets the other buyers know that in order to secure the property, they'll first have to outbid you. Consider what I call disruptive bidding. If bidding is going up in increments of say $10,000, perhaps a $20,000 increment will disrupt the bidding and put the flow back in your favour and put you in the best possible position to secure the house. Be flexible but realistic when it comes to setting your maximum bid at auction day. Missing out on your dream property for a few thousand dollars or perhaps one final bid may haunt you. Win or lose, leave the auction knowing that you gave yourself every opportunity to buy. And remember, if you are the successful purchaser on auction day, you will need to pay the full deposit as outlined in the contract of sale. If you'd like any more information on how to bid at auction day or any other questions about the auction process, please feel free to give me a call at any time.